Hi, STM. We're your, S your STM prefix. I'm Dia. I'm Cheyenne. And we'll be presenting some tips and guides for exams. Part 2. So, your notes are organized or somewhat organized. You have made a study schedule and you have found a quiet place to work. You are free of distractions. You have all your materials ready. You are ready to study. Now what? Background. Many students have good intentions and try to study, but they do not actually know how to study. Reading notes over and over a few times is not enough. There are actually different ways to study for different types of text, test sl slash exams. For example, you should not study for a multiple choice test the same way you study for a essay test slash exam. Before you begin, most teachers give you out some type of exam review or outline. Make sure you know the format of the exam so you can study accordingly. For example, your exam may consist of a multiple choice section worth 50 marks and five short answer questions worth five marks each. Studying for multiple choice, matching, fill in the blanks, short answer sections. These types of questions usually require you to memorize shorter, more detailed pieces of information. Examples of items covered in these sections may be dates, facts, definitions, and specific details. You need to use memory aids to help you study for this type of exam. Do not just read and reread. Make summaries and point form outlines. Highlight key terms and jot down keywords. Make note of subheadings, dates, and terms in bold from your notes, handouts, and textbooks. Make flashcards often helps test your knowledge. The site Quizlet.com offers virtual flashcards alongside tests, games, and memory activities to help you study. Also, it's an app on your phone. Multiple choice, matching, fill in the blanks, short answer sections continue. Make sure to t make up a test for yourself to see if you can recall the terms and or definitions required. For short answer sections, make sure you are able to recall not just the facts, but also a few details about each fact or issue. Studying for essay sections. These questions require you to discuss, analyze, compare, or formulate an opinion about a topic. You still need to know facts, but you must apply these facts and main points to a larger issue. To study for this type of exam section, go through all your notes on a separate piece of paper Make a list of themes and larger issues that were covered in the course. If you see a particular issue mentioned more than once, that is a good indication that it may be included somehow in the essay questions. Try to recall issues that the teacher mentioned often as well. Once you have brainstormed possible topics, write each topic title down on a separate sheet of paper. Go through your notes again, and whenever you come across a piece of information that suits one of the essay topics, write it on the appropriate sheet of paper. Review these notes often. You may want to formulate a thesis or subtopic as well. Studying for problem solving or number, number, numeracy based questions. Once again, it is not enough to simply review your notes or formulas. Go through one unit at a time and make note of any formulas that need to be memorized. Take a look at the examples given by the textbook and by the teacher. Former test questions are also a good place to look. On a separate sheet of paper, write down different questions from that unit that represent a cross-section of the questions from the unit. Make sure you have answers to those questions so you can check your work. Pay close attention to questions you had difficulty with previously. Now, redo the questions and check your work. Do this for each unit. Redo the previous step if you have time, paying attention to any incorrect answers. Make sure you are showing your work and that you are able to explain the steps involved in solving a problem or equation. Color coding, underlining, highlighting, or relevant material. Read the information, close your eyes, and try to visualize and recall the information. Often reading is not enough. Write down the information and keep writing.
if you are an auditory learner, use rhythming, rhyming, or rhythm. Make up a rap or memorize, a, memorize it to a beat. Read the information out loud. Explain or try to teach the information to a friend, pet, your dog, your pet rock, etc. Tips to help you memorize information. Use acronyms. For instance, the acronym HOMES can help you remember the names of the Great Lakes, Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, Superior. Similarly, you can make up a silly sentence or story. For example, to learn the planets, you can say, My very elegant mother just scooped up nine piglets, Mars, Venus, Earth, etc. Remember to take breaks when necessary. Review your study notes more than one, once over s several days if possible. Where to find help? Start studying as soon as possible. There are many people and resources available to you. Teachers, student success, resource, library, online tools, LMS, and more. There are also many student reference guides available. Check the library or reliable internet sources, such as those available on our school board website, also on LMS, or from a recognized academic institution. Conclusion. Good luck and remember, successful people have learned to make themselves do the thing that has to be done when it has to be done, whether they like it or not. Aldous Huxley. Have a good day, STM.